Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Your Favorite Libertarian. Today's episode, we're going to be doing an update video on this, the Cloud Defensive MCH. If you haven't seen any of my other videos on this, be sure to go to my channel and check it out. There's a whole flashlight playlist where you'll find this, and it's also just in all the videos. It's a pretty recent video. Uh, I've done two so far, actually technically three videos on this light. Uh, first of which is kind of like an overview review beam comparison type video. Second one is testing out the runtime. And then the third one is painting it this color. It is a shiny green finish when you get it. And I wanted to make it less shiny. So I spray painted it this color. And this video you are about to watch right now <laughs> is going to be me testing out how this finish holds up, if it bubbles up under heat, if there's any durability to this paint job as far as issues of durability goes. So we're gonna take a look at this, test it out, and I brought this along with me camping. So you're gonna be seeing it in various lighting conditions, distances, etc. Are you ready? Here we go. First test is at the campfire. You see a little bit of smoke in this first image. There is a video where you get a really good idea of how dark it is and how smoky it is. And that light is still cutting through that smoke, which is great. It's going through the cloud of smoke, if you will. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I found a bat flying around and I'm tracking it with the light. There it is in slow-mo, so you can see it flapping around. Pretty cool. So here I am at the campgrounds. I'm almost at the opposite end of the campgrounds. It's not quite dark yet, but I'm still using that light to push through all the way to the opposite end where the dump stations are, where you would fill them with your dumpage. Here is a quick pic of Liam about to turn around. And as you can see, just with the spill, I'm able to light them up very easily. The last three images are in pitch black darkness after the fireworks. First one is me shining the light straight up into the sky, the night sky with all the stars. You can see some streaks. Those are either satellites or UFOs. Who knows? Next, we have me shooting this light from the beach all the way to the other side of the lake. And I can actually, with my eyes, see things lit up on the other side of the lake, which is pretty freaking crazy. Let's talk about durability as far as the paint goes. Now, in all of my testing, I did not have any issues with paint bubbling up under heat, but I did have some paint coming off as I was carrying it around. I didn't have any issues with pocket carry, but when I had this in a fanny pack, and yes, I did rock a fanny pack with uh, short shorts, it's kind of hard to hold all the weight that I normally carry with my EDC. So most of this was in a fanny pack and this light was in a fanny pack along with some other items. And I think just all of those items being in there and moving around as I'm moving around, it scratched some of the paint off. So you can see here the original color, which is that shiny green and it gives you a nice contrast here between the two colors. But that uh, mostly is where the paint was rubbing off and then a little bit here on the bezel. Other than that though, uh, it held up pretty well. But just want to let you know that that's what happened after the paint job, which I don't really care about. I knew it was going to come off eventually. I also should note I did not put any clear coat over the paint job that I did. So if you were to put clear coat over it, it probably would help keep everything together and keep things from scratching off. That concludes my auxiliary testing of the Cloud Defensive MCH. It's been a great light so far, but wanted to give you guys an update after the paint job on how it's doing. As always, thanks for watching, stay free, and God bless.